Breast cancer can present itself in many different forms in women. The many types and diagnosis can be overwhelming for women to navigate. Here today to talk about one type of breast cancer, triple negative breast cancer, and the use of chemotherapy is Dr. Rajani Nedkarni, a medical oncologist with Hartford HealthCare. Doctor, welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you for being here. Such an important topic. So what is triple negative breast cancer and what does it mean for a woman who gets this diagnosis? So as you know, breast cancer can be a really scary diagnosis for most women and in particular triple negative breast cancer can be very scary because this is a type of cancer that does not show any receptors for estrogen or progesterone or the HER2 protein on the cancer cell. And why this is so important is because these cancers tend to be extraordinarily aggressive and they are more often seen in younger women, women of color, women uh, who are Hispanic, and women who may have a genetic mutation like the BRCA1 mutation. Interesting. All right, so who is most commonly diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer and what are some of its features? So uh, if you look at the BRCA1 mutation carriers, about 70% of those BRCA1 mutation carriers will have a triple negative breast cancer. Um, about 10 to 15% of all other breast cancers are triple negative breast cancers. And the features are that they present in a very aggressive manner. Often they are more advanced in stage because they rapidly grow and um, they often need to be treated more aggressively than uh, your standard estrogen and progesterone receptor positive breast cancer. All right, talk about the use of immunotherapy for patients with this type of breast cancer. So how exciting to have uh, something more than just chemotherapy in our armamentarium because these cancers cannot be treated with endocrine therapy, they cannot be treated with anti therapy, and we've been looking for some other way of treating uh, patients with triple negative breast cancer other than chemotherapy. So immunotherapies are what we call checkpoint inhibitors. Our body has a checkpoint to prevent our own immune system from creating havoc in our own cells. And when cancer um, responds to immunotherapy, what it has actually done is it has hijacked our own immune system and allowed cancer cells to grow and kind of uh, so escape surveillance. So immunotherapies reset that surveillance and it basically allows um, your own immune system to fight cancer cells, kill them and prevent these cancer cells from growing. And the exciting part is that we use now immunotherapy for breast cancer in the early stages so that we can give immunotherapy before surgery. And these patients based on the most recent trial, if they're given with chemotherapy, uh, over 50% of patients will have a complete response, wow. and those patients okay. will have a much, much better survival and cure than someone who doesn't uh, have e chemoimmunotherapy. So it's, very, it's in a very exciting time for us in, in this field. And doctor, I interviewed one physician who said, you used to give chemotherapy to everybody with breast cancer, but not anymore. <laughs> Dr. Not Rajan, anymore. What's that? And not anymore. I love that. All right, Dr. Yeah. Rajani Medarni, thank you so much for joining us with this great information. You're most welcome and have a wonderful day. You too.